Here's Dennis' <laughs> second question. Are there any other alternative theories or teachings regarding the origins of demons in second temple literature or other relevant literature other than the disembodied Nephilim? Well, the only one that's really secure, you know, that that's not problematic in terms of uh, the idea is Philo of Alexandria. Uh, again, right in his book, is going to discuss Philo. Philo, I'll, I'll, I'll just read how Archie Wright describes Philo's view of you know, the, all this origin of evil spirit stuff. He says, Philo is the lone voice in the Alexandrian diaspora during the Second Temple period that has a different view, his, whose view differs considerably from the tradition set forth in the Book of the Watchers. So yeah, there is one. There is an alternate view, but it is a lone voice, you know, crying in the wilderness. So Philo of Alexandria, again, did not um, buy into the uh, into the Book of the Watchers stuff for the origin of demons. So if you wanted, you know, to read him, you could, you know, get you could get Archie Wright's book again. He's going to he's going to track through, you know, some of that material or some book on Philo or whatever the, some scholars would, would toss in uh, something in, in a line in Josephus, specifically in the Jewish wars. Uh, book seven, uh, line 185. Uh, apparently, again, depending on which text you read, so there's a text text critical issue here. Uh, apparently, you know, some of the some of the manuscripts define demons as the spirits of wicked men, which enter the living and kill them unless aid is forthcoming. Other texts say it's just the spirit of of the wicked, so it it, it lacks the word anthropos in the text. So the spirits of the wicked could be wicked anything, and of course. You know the the disembodied you know, spirits of the Nephilim. They would of course be wicked. So it, you know Josephus could be very consistent on that point. Again, but there's there's a manuscript issue. If you look at like Nice, the Nice edition of Josephus and the critical apparatus, it's going to suggest that Anthropos was added to you know to quote unquote correct or help the text. So Anthropos could be a secondary term. And I think again, given the given the uh, significant uniformity of Second Temple Judaism on this matter, it, it probably is a, a late addition. But for, you know, the, the only one that's secure, the only departure from this that, you know, isn't embroiled in issues like text critical readings would be Philo of Alexandria.